Okay, let's take a look at another example on how to build restriction sitemaps on plasmid DNA. So this plasmid has been already digested and you can see the data is provided here. We have different fragment sizes that resulted from different digestions. So we have single digestions going on and double digestions. So the very first thing that we want to do again, we want to establish how big this plasmid is. So we want to look at single digestion and you can see here is just one fragment and you can see we only have 3000 base pairs. And then here's another one from uh, enzyme number two digestion, again, 3000 base pairs. But if we have two fragments, uh, notice they do add up to 3000. And if you add all these fragments together, you're going to see that they all add up to 3000 base pairs. So it means this is how big our plasmid is, 3000 base pairs total. So now the very first thing, um, uh, after that, or the next thing that you want to do after that is figure out which enzyme individually gives you the highest number of fragments. So you don't want to look at the double digest yet. You want to look at individual enzymes and see which one will give you the highest number. So clearly you can see it is enzyme number three. So what we're going to do, we're going to start at 12 o'clock and move clockwise. So because because this is a circular DNA molecule, so it's all relative here. So we have first cut that is carried out by enzyme number three. So we're going to place it here and we're going to make 1800 base pair fragment and 1200. So we have to cut that 3000 into two fragments. So I'm going to place one cut here and this one is going to be the second cut, which is done by enzyme number three. So you can see now we have 1800 base pair fragment and 1200 base pair fragment over here. So now the next thing we want is see what can we add to this map to figure out, um, you know, where the next enzyme could possibly cut or because we don't want to look at individual digestions yet. You can see it only cuts one here, so we can't really know where to place this yet or from enzyme number two. So we're going to leave these alone yet uh, for right now. So what we add here to this equation, since we already have the sites for enzyme three, we can look at what happens when you add enzyme number two and we have double digestion here. So we have enzyme number two and number three. So notice we actually get three fragments and one of these fragments remains intact after this digestion. So it means enzyme number two is not going to touch this region over here. Notice no cut because we're still going to have that fragment. However, what we're going to lose is 1200. So 1200 was cut into 650 and 550. So I am going to go ahead and place my restriction site for enzyme two over here. So now we have um, 550 and this fragment is going to be 650. Now remember this is just an estimate here. So now the next thing what we can do is add another enzyme to what we already have and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what happens when we add enzyme number one because we already know the locations for enzyme number three. So we already know number three, so we're gonna add number one. And we know that enzyme number one only cuts once because it makes one fragment. So what we have here, now we have to ignore the fact that we localized enzyme number two. So we're going to see, okay, what do we have here? So remember this region right here, enzyme number three, this region was worth 1200 and yes indeed we still have that 
that fragment. So it means we're not going to cut it. So it means enzyme number one had to have cut this, um, this fragment that consisted of 1800 into 8800. You see it because we had 1800 right here to begin with. So we only make one cut. So we can go ahead and place enzyme number one restriction site in this position. So now we no longer have 1800. This fragment is going to be 1000 and this is going to be 800. Okay, so now the last thing that we have here is address exactly what happens when we have um, when we have enzyme number one and two digestion. So you can see we only get two fragments. So this one is getting a little bit crowded. I'm just going to draw a quick circular DNA molecule right here and help you see where exactly enzyme number one and number two cuts because we actually already addressed that. If you notice, number one is sitting right here at this position and then number two is sitting right here in this position somewhere here. So I'm gonna write E2 and this one is E1. So as you can see this entire plasmid is 3000 base pair so it means we have cut this plasmid into two pieces. So this piece is going to be 15, 50, 1550 and the other piece is going to be 1450. So you see we had actually localized all the restriction sites on this plasmid. So that's how you work through this process and build restriction site maps using restriction enzymes.